Hello guys, Samurai here. Today I'm gonna teach you guys how to fix GTA 5 lags, low FPS, and lag while you're driving the car. And so let's get started. First thing you're gonna go to, you're gonna first thing you go to Google and then you're gonna search Advanced System Care Pro. You're gonna scroll down, go to download now. Then you take you to another link. You can close the link, the old link. Click download now, and then you're gonna bring in the setup and then you install it once you install the advanced system care you know, open it first thing you go to clean and optimize you are gonna check all accept registry defect and then you are gonna scan until when you done scan I already did the scan before I start recording so I'm not gonna do it again it will take like 30 minutes or 40 minutes so after that, after your scan, you go to Google back, then you going to click this link on this picture. Then you take you to media file and then you're gonna install dot dot story dx story. The story is software to recording, but you don't need to recording your GTA 5. This app will give you like 15 percent no lag on your game then you go to where you save the text story zip you're gonna right click extract to that text story refresh you find you double click that then you're gonna install it once you done install you're gonna double click this text story license file then click register once you done clean it go google and then launch that story launch that story and then click yes and then once done you gonna you gonna go to here you call it advance you gonna check the limit video fps you gonna check it you gonna set to 45 frame rate per second and then once, once it's done you're gonna click minimize and then go to advanced system care you're gonna go to speed up go to turn, turn boost go to configure then make sure you check game mode do not go to work mode you're gonna check to work game mode system service you're gonna click recommended in a window service you're gonna do it. you're gonna check what you want and then go to background apps if have if have the background app you're gonna check all go to other setting check this button it's done you're gonna click back and then minimize it and then you go to you're gonna right click go to nvidia control panel and then you're gonna go to manage 3d setting wait we're gonna go to program setting hold up let's then go to we're gonna it, it loading my game hold on now it's done we go to gta 5exe then you're gonna do what uh, you're gonna do my setting area you're gonna copy my setting to your setting right here then if you do not know how to edit it you're gonna click on the you're gonna see the setting do not click on the feature click on the setting and then the name like this one i don't know featuring you're gonna click here and it will, will pop up this thing and then if you click on the name nothing pop up if you click on the setting it will pop up then make copy what i do right here once you done copy you're gonna go to apply and then done and then go to set physic configuration you will have auto select or cpu you're gonna turn it to geforce ttx gonna apply Remember, this NVIDIA control panel only on 
computer nvidia nvidia or laptop nvidia is amd you're gonna skip this step and then when it's done you're gonna go to here right click on nvidia geforce experience you're gonna open nvidia geforce experience wait it opening There is there is GeForce experience. Now wait until it wait until it fully launch. Once done, you're gonna go to drivers. Then make sure your GeForce game ready driver is up to date. If not, you're gonna update it. It will take like fifteen minute or ten minute, depend on your internet connection. Once done, you're gonna close it. Go to advanced system care go to not this one to books wait okay you gonna click this gonna install driver boost on once you done install driver boost you go to driver boost and then make sure all your driver up to date like mine I already update it it took like 20 minutes or 30 minutes because my sister is download this program so it took like, it took like 30 minutes if not it will take like 5 minutes or 10 minutes so once you done update and then update all driver you're gonna close it then go to advanced system care you're gonna turn on the boost Then you're gonna click optimize. Wait. Uh, you're gonna click optimize all. Once done, you're gonna minimize it. Go to Steam, Library, Games, Launch GTA 5. Then go to Text Manager. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You're gonna go to text manager and then you're gonna in process the no, no, no. you're gonna cancel the social club because I already done mistake. You're gonna you go to uh, right click on the this this text bar, go to system, advanced system setting, setting, make sure you tick the adjust for best performance, apply go to advance right there go to change make sure you did what I did C 10,000 15,000 go to D 10,000 15,000 but I recommend you to do to do to do this on C only I, I did on two drive because my GTA 5 is not on C driver on D driver that's why I did two you gonna click set on both and click OK, OK, OK. It will ask you to restart your computer and please restart. On this time, you're gonna uh, hold the window key and then click R. Gonna type MS config. Gonna enter. Once done, you go to boot, advanced option. Number of number of person you're gonna tick it. Then make sure you tick the height one. Once done, you're gonna click OK, apply, OK, and then restart your computer. Once done, restart. You go to uh, window. No, no, no. Then once done, you're gonna open text manager. Once done, open text manager. You go to details, and then go to Steam launch GTA 5. your text manager open keep it and then wait until GTA 5 launch you will see G GTA 5 launcher dot exe on here wait until it pop GTA 5 
dot exe like like this then wait make sure you click on low just your righty because GTA V launcher does not do anything when the GTA 5.exe launch you see memory just stay on 50,653 then when close next video you go to day on setting go to graphics then Direct exposure, make sure on direct as 10.1. Screen time, make sure on full screen. Resolution 1920 x 1080. Aspect ratio 90 to 16.9. close open text manager minimize it go to file explorer go to document rockstar games ttv and you will see sitting here you're gonna right click open with like that you find ssa o value you're gonna set it into one scroll down until you see force fx value you're gonna turn it into three Dot value, you're gonna turn it into true. You're gonna go to file, save, close it, close it, play GTA 5, wait, keep text manager open on details, wait, do not turn GTA 5 launcher.exe to low, to low before gta 5.exe launch so after gta 5.exe launch you're gonna turn gta 5 launcher to low if not you're gonna stay into normal so when it's open you're gonna wait until it hundred percent open automatically turn the resolution to window 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 width like that you will see the blue bar like on the on my screen right here you will see the blue bar it mean window window width like this it is ready graphic like that you're gonna turn it to full screen go to uh, click to a space
we get five then this we get five my fps low is as you can see on top left right here my fps low because i'm recording so if recording it will take your half to half fps to record then you will get your gta 5 with no lags and then your fps will stay it will drop like two or three but it's okay then let's try to driving my car tutorial help you please click the subscribe button and then like the video like the fine bitches in yoga pants parking lot now you know house, how i do this way i roll i gotta friend. roll to their real slow to right last in the radio kicking some dope ass jams i see the females i'm picking up the hot females and you know that they loving that way that i'm rolling because i got that custom detail high for your friend then once you're done thank you again I will catch you on another video. You come on, dang! Is that steaming polish shit a present for not training you?